What's going on, Safe Moon Army? It is Safe Moon Surge here yet again with another daily video for you all today. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown me. To all the new viewers, welcome to Safe Moon, the fastest growing crypto community on earth. Now, as you, I've been saying pretty much every video, consolidate to v2 we have been having a lot more migrations over from v1 to v2 as we can tell on the bsc scan here we have 306,285 addresses that are now on v2 as of yesterday it was at 300,000 so we definitely added a couple thousand more addresses to the v2 which is great to see and i know a lot of you that are on v2 are enjoying those sweet sweet reflections as a as a I am as well, so it's definitely something that I'm very happy about being on V2 for everyone who has not been able to migrate yet because of other circumstances and situations. Don't worry, uh, John has spoken on that, so we'll jump into that in a little bit, but if you guys have not yet, make sure to come, like, comment, and share. I would greatly appreciate that. It truly means a lot when you guys support these videos and support this channel. Go support all these other gentlemen here, John Caroni, Crypto Dream, Safe Moon Joe. They're also great content, and even Safe Moon Tim. Uh, so definitely go check out those people as well. Now let's actually take a quick look here at the price of Safe Moon. Apparently, PooCoin is more accurate on the price. So if a lot of you are obviously going based off of the coin market cap price, it seems to not be nearly as accurate as PooCoin. And there's other uh, platforms that you can actually check the Safe Moon price, and a lot of them won't be accurate, according to John. PooCoin is the most accurate. So we're currently sitting at 2017. That's kind of where we've been um, these last couple days and even week or so since v2 has been out so not too much going on here i mean we've gotten up to like the 185 but other than that that's kind of this is where we've been staying at the price has been staying very consistent and anything below two i think is a great deal not financial advice but if you guys are able to acquire more definitely do that there are a lot of big things coming, um, and I think people are just, I mean, at this point, it's a sleeping giant, and we do have the BitMart situation going on that's going to hopefully happen here soon. Um, we'll also see our two exchanges being announced as well, and then we do have the Project Phoenix video coming out that John Crony has finally said that it's finally being edited by his team. So definitely looking forward to that. I think that's going to bring a lot of FOMO just simply because of what he's going to talk about. Hopefully it's just not like very, I guess, short and broad. Hopefully he can get into some of the nitty gritty into the weeds of it and really tell us what Project Phoenix consists of. Obviously we have all of our theories, things, hints, etc. So let's actually go ahead and take a look here. So... We did have from the Safe Moon Warrior. If you guys have not followed him on Twitter, definitely follow him uh, or she. I'm not sure if it's a, a man or a female. But regardless, though, we do have John Caroni, who is being featured as a panelist on Cryptopia, which will be actually hosted by Scott Paul. If you guys aren't familiar, but Scott Paul is someone who's following Safe Moon and John Caroni around and has his own YouTube channel. So definitely check him out. But uh, they're putting this on in Salt Lake City, Utah on January 19th, and he's going to be one of the panelists on there. So definitely check that out. I think it'll be really cool. Um, another thing is, this is why I think Project Phoenix is going to bring in a ton of FOMO because as, as this video gets dropped, you know, John Crony said, I apologize in advance for the melted brains when we release the Phoenix video. So... If that's if he's hyping it up that much, it must be huge. Yeah, there's obviously there's a lot of theories on what Project Phoenix is, and I'm not going to get into all of them. There's a lot of cool Twitter spaces that you can listen in on. If you're not on Twitter, there's videos from Safe Moon Tim that kind of talks about that. But then again, it's all speculation. It's all theory. Um, so once we get this video, I think this is going to confirm what we've all been saying and believe. Project Phoenix consists of all we know is has to do with the Gambia and renewable energy, uh, telecommunications, things of that nature. 
like a like John Crony always says, this is a tech company and it is no longer just a, a a crypto. It is now a tech an innovation blockchain company. So that is gonna be amazing to finally get this video. I cannot wait to finally watch it. It's been long anticipated and it's almost the end of December. And so we do need to have that December reveal. I won't be surprised if he pushes it into the last day of December just to mess around with us. So, you know, it's imminent, as John Crony would always say. So he also put this out, and you could tell um, the Safe Moon Army is one of the most informed and educated communities out there. We value knowledge and always seek more. Looking forward to you all becoming fluid dynamics and molecular science experts. Tim, Tim, Safe Moon Tim's already on that fluid dynamics and molecular science experts. Yeah, he he'll cover that. I'm not going to go into all that detail, but I'm sure a lot of people are going to enjoy that. So, um, so this was really cool to see. But Safe Moon was featured on the Fox Business as one of the most popular cryptocurrencies of 2021, which is absolutely awesome to see. This is another screenshot here. Uh, that we saw so you have fox business here and then safe moon shib ethereum doge bitcoin and xrp so being in the top five or six two yeah six top six here is absolutely amazing for us we are definitely a lot of people are starting to notice safe moon even more the thing is it's still kind of hard to buy in i know for people who have been around and people who have been buying into safe moon like myself we understand the process is a lot more simpler for us but people are still um you know having a hard time getting into safe moon even though we have our own wallet we have our own app people still have a hard time so until there's like a direct way to buy it like on coinbase or something then yeah so here you go um operation phoenix videos with the editing team looking forward to presenting one of the first of many innovations enhancing the safe moon ecosystem happy holidays for myself the team and dark moon we don't know if dark moon's a person we don't know if dark moon's a group of people um i'm gonna say it's a group of people uh, it's a team um but then again i don't know because he says the team and dark moon as if dark moon is its own whole entity itself so we don't know yet but i'm sure we'll eventually find out this was really great to see and this is why i tell people who haven't migrated to v2 it's okay uh john crony did say the gate to migrate to v2 will be open safe moon is rather big in the military community and some folks are deployed just one example of folks not being able to migrate at this time so we will leave the door open for migration all while shutting down v1 trading win-win so there you have it gentlemen and ladies uh v1 you will still be able to migrate to v2 um, but you're just not going to benefit from the reflections by being on v1 if that makes sense so another thing is uh safe moon does win the whale metaverse token of the year so we won at 51 and a half percent which is amazing and i thought this was very interesting um this right here is a cell phone it's called the wiko mobile this is all theory but it could be a coincidence so the dark moon with its 4.7 inch screen is a treasure trove of technology packed into a sophisticated design with a minimalist thickness of 7.9 millimeters it is easy to use and extremely comfortable and functional like the other models in the dark range its battery cover is aluminum so could this possibly be the phone the cell phone that everyone keeps alluding to possibly um, who knows, but it is no coincidence that this right here is literally the same screensaver Mount Fiji here as this one right here that we got from Safe Moon Official. I don't know, but very, very interesting. So could we be seeing a, a cell phone, right, or something along the lines of this? Possibly, but the fact that it's called the Dark Moon um, and then it has that same, it's, it is all a coincidence and it's all speculation. Take it as you want, but I think that's, that's pretty interesting to see. So, um, last but not least, I think I did get a notification here, uh, with, here you go. So 
as of today today's the safe moon is the day safe moon army at 4 p.m 11 a.m eastern time the v1 tax will be changing to a hundred percent we are moving our full focus to v2 to evolve the safe moon ecosystem bring on 2022 so v1 supporting is winding down the v1 tax will be set at 100 percent do not transfer any v1 tokens to another wallet by increasing the tax this removes incentives to continue holding safe moon v1 migration from v1 to v2 will open will remain open indefinitely so nobody is left behind the exchanges have been given all they need to complete their own migration. It is highly advised that you do not buy SafeMoon V1 as you will not receive any tokens following this change. So here you have it. So no longer do not buy, you can't buy or sell a V1 anymore. So just buy V2, migrate whenever you can migrate. It's going to stay, it's going to remain open. So there we have it and it is officially done so with that being said though i hope you guys all found this video very informative if you guys did make sure to subscribe like comment and share this video and again i appreciate all the support that you guys have shown me talk to you all in the next one